clothes them in, so we'll give them a bit of room to move around in. But I have never seen such happy elephants, because this is the first time that I've seen the long grass here at Juma. Okay, now that they've moved up away from us a little bit, I think we can go a bit closer. We, we're quite far from as you can see. And now we haven't closed the elephants in. So that's the worst thing that you can do with animals is that we obviously try and position ourselves really nicely. But because the other vehicle was here already, I didn't want to come and pressure those elephants. So we'll just sneak up and see if we can maybe get around them and, and wait for them to come onto the other side. Hi guys. One, two, three, four, five, six little elephants. Not, well, not six little elephants, six rather large elephants and, well, two smallish ones. Just going to keep going just a little bit further because if they keep moving away from us, we're going to just have to play catch up. So we shall try and jump ahead. There we go. Sorry, I keep parking on the most horrible places. Apologies. Sorry, VM. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a young, so he looks like quite a small herd. I wonder if they're not perhaps a part of a bigger breeding herd. But it isn't uncommon to see these smaller groups at this time of the year. And that's one of my favorite things is as stressful as it is for the elephants during the winter months, with there not being any food around, you get to see massive herds. The biggest herd I've seen was about between 100 and 150 elephants in this area in the southern sand and it was it was incredible being surrounded by such a big herd and they were so relaxed at the time it was I think I spent the entire afternoon with them yes that's all we did we watched elephants for two and a half hours as they played around us and pushed down trees and pulled off bark the little ones were jumping on each other and doing the strange things that they normally do and then we went and had a sundowner that was all we did. It was wonderful. Hello, girl. I wonder, because she's using her foot, that's always incredible. She's not feeding on grass, actually. She's feeding on one of these little small shrubs, which apparently are quite tasty. And I wonder if she's eating the string of stars. It actually does look like she's eating string of stars, which is a, that shrub with the... Oh, it's our, is that our favorite herd? No, no, it isn't. But you can see there, the reason why she was using her her foot is, look at her trunk. You see how her trunk is unfortunately, unfortunately she's missing the tip of it. Now, I don't know if this is the short trunk group. I think her trunk is a bit shorter, isn't it? Half of it. It's about half of that. I haven't seen her in such a long time. But sadly, we see many, many different elephants out here. Uh, that most likely have uh, lost the tip of their trunks due to snares. So if you're wondering what a snare is, it's basically like a trap made with wire and will pull tight and unfortunately it cuts off the circulation and that looks like what has happened to that beautiful Ellie. But she's alright, she's big and strong. She's using her foot to help her. You can see she's still working her way around. Look at that. Isn't that an amazing technique that she's developed? And she'll be fine. But I hope we get to see the short trunk herd again. I mean, we haven't seen them for ages. Is I, VM, I think this is this not it? Because there were six elephants, weren't there? In the. She's got a baby. I don't know, Rebecca. Can you help me? Is this the short trunk herd? <laughs> the, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure because I haven't seen them in such a long time, but maybe you can all help me. I forgot, completely forgotten what the short trunk female has looked like. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure there were more. There were about f between four and six members that we'd see uh, in the in the breeding herd. So I wonder if this is her. So if you can help me out, maybe this is indeed her. You can just let us all know because we were a bit un we we're a bit unsure. You can either hashtag Safari Live. On Twitter, look at those two having a bit of a, they're pushing each other around now. Now, now, children, behave. Look <laughs> at the trunk going up on, over the top of its head. I love it when they do that. <laughs> it 
flaring their ears at each other. Nothing serious. Elephants are very social creatures and they also like to play around a little bit too. I think that this is, I think that this is the, our short trunk herd. But it, you know what, it's been such a long time that this little one has grown up now so much. That is amazing. And I hope it is, because it's nice to see them back again and know that they're doing well. Those two young bulls are still having a tussle with each other. And I don't remember seeing, those two young bulls could also come and go. They look like they've reached the age where they've been kicked out of a big breeding herd. I don't think that they would belong in here. But maybe as the small breeding herd passed through, these boys just joined up.